That was kind of awesome, not gonna lie. That felt really fun to finally win. There are multiple name mini bosses throughout the game. I, I mean, of course there is. This is somewhat similar to the Souls games, right? We gotta make sure we save. I never want to fight him again. <laughs> go save, it will respawn. Oh shit. Well, I don't have to go back there. I don't have to go back there. That's okay. Ogdo Bogdo has followed the stream. You scumbag. Who is that? <laughs> Who is that? One of you thinks you're hilarious. <laughs> That's actually pretty funny. Let's do it, man. I feel like I just got 50 kills in an attrition game. I deserve to rest after that. <laughs> I'm a little disappointed you didn't bag the Spitfire Frog. I should have. I didn't get a skill point after all that. I feel like I really worked my ass off. All right, now we can go the way the game wants us to go. Well, that's, that's not, not it. Opening. Door is locked from the other side. Never mind. Hi, BD. So while you were waiting here like a little shit, we were killing Ogdo Bogdo. It would have been cool if you followed us and healed me up like chat says you're supposed there. to do. That doesn't look safe. Just like back at the scrapyard. Drop down. Oh, BD, BD. Hold on, I'm coming. Just give me 10 minutes to figure out how to get there. Use the force. There's more. I like, I dodge too much, but I like dodging rather than parrying. I'm not used to parrying monsters. I was talking to Grizzy about this. I was like, can you parry beasts or can you only parry humanoids? And I feel like I should practice parrying the beasts. But so far, I don't know. I don't think it's that hard to, par to dodge them. Are there like secret things in these pots? Because I'm going to want to destroy every single pot. <laughs> I'm like a child of Disneyland right now. I love having a lightsaber, dude. I couldn't wait for to play this game. Kermit the Mutant Frog. I'm so happy to have a lightsaber game, dude. Last one was what? Star Wars Force Unleashed? Oh, I didn't have to chop that down. Whoever lived here used this room for storage. They kept food and supplies. Someone lived here some time using this larder for storage and provisions. It's not Zelda, Derek. I mean, I like just breaking things. You know, let me break everything with my saber. The fact that you see the marks on the wall is so sick. <laughs> a wall Spitfire would be OP in this game. We just fought a Spitfire in monster form. It's, his name is Ogdo Bogdo. And I hate him. Hey, that was pretty brave. You okay? Wait, I can help you with that. Will you let me? Oh, his little foot's broken. Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm watching this on a toilet. Thanks for being here, well, man. Your scomp link is busted, but this should help you get moving for now. I know about the scomp link. I saw somebody doing that. Okay. Try that. Oh, we fixed him. Oh, you got a little BD. Oh, cute little bot. Cute little droid. The vault. Yeah, that's where I was headed to. Okay. Well, first we gotta figure out a way out of this place. <laughs> somebody said sell him for parts. You want me to sell BD, bro? He's my little homie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure BD is very important to this game. You want me to sell him for some money? Customized lightsaber. Bro, this is what we need. We need purple here. We're going to use orange. We're going to use orange, but we need purple respawn. Where is it? When you guys figure out how to get purple, let me know. I like that one the best, I think. These are both premium content. Is this because I pre-ordered the game? I think I like that one more. That one matches. I feel like we have to go matching for now. Yeah. Looks good to me. 
but give me purple. <laughs> Ogdo Bogdo win. <laughs> Orange looks so sick, not gonna lie. But purple would be 10 Might times be. better. That's a little small for me. Don't worry. I'll find my own way out. Definitely can't get in there. Tight fit, but this should work. Are we climbing somewhere? Oh, there's a goddamn open door right there. So sick. It's the color of my hair. Secrets, secrets. Anything? Can I break stuff? Oh, we can climb though. Left or right? We'll go right. Would you trade BD for a purple lightsaber? Oh, that's a tough one. <laughs> that's a tough one, boys. I mean, I like BD, but you know me and purple, we go way back. <laughs> that's a tough one. They both lead to the same way. I was really, I was overthinking if I should go left or right. All right, what was I supposed to do there? Uh, that's supposed to happen. Yeah. That's I'm all supposed right. to happen. <laughs> Guy that likes puns, thank you very much for the 11 month resub. I appreciate you, man. Heal. Oh, now we can heal, chat. You were yelling at me that I could heal this whole time, but I can't heal until this moment. You're full of surprises. Thank you, Guy that likes puns. I appreciate you, man. I'm emotional playing this game. I'm, I've been so excited. That's better. Thanks, little droid. So, dudes, we got stim in this game. Okay. We all know Let's where Stim is from. Does that mean we can uh, phase shift later? Can we go cloak? Okay. Can we use the grapple hook? You know, are there pulse blades in this I'll game? A lot of respawnisms in this game right now, and I'm loving it. I'm loving this experience. Thank you guys for being here and supporting the stream, man. Oh, now they're not electric electrified. Okay, so we can heal up to twice. And I'm assuming when I rest, I can heal two more times. Wait, what? You can pick up 3D printed lightsabers. 50 bucks, really? Where? On like eBay or something? Wait, where? You need to tell me more information about this, Tony. You can't just drop it facts like that and then not give me more. Can I get a purple 3D printed lightsaber? Is that, is that real life? Shortcut unlocked. Yo, I'm really feeling this orange lightsaber. That looks sick. Looks like an anime kid. <laughs> yeah, link me, dude. That sounds dope. 50 bucks is not bad either. Jahira, thank you for the bits, man. What do we find? New M uh okay. And no Kador. Wait, that's my that's my that's my homie. You can change lightsaber parts on workbenches throughout the galaxy and on the mantis. Pilot, you're going on my list of So the chests offer me customization. So is one of these chests in the game going to give me a purple lightsaber? Is that the way it works? We have to like go scavenging throughout the solar system to find a purple customization thing. Is that the way we have to do it? That's where we came from. Try the chest that you left now. Try the chest that you left now. Oh, you mean where Agdo Bagdo was, right? But I have to fight him again. I don't know if I want to fight him again. That's where we need to go. I can feel it. All right, that's the vault. We'll, we'll head towards the vault. Okay, so yellow means yes. That We always go towards yellow. That's where the undiscovered stuff is. It's a story thing. I'm pretty sure for the colors, really. Okay, so we'll just progress. I really wish we could have had purple from the very beginning. <laughs> that would have been perfect. It's okay. Orange looks good, though. The Great Divide. We're getting some frame drops, unfortunately. Do you have the vault key? No, I do not. Unless BD is the vault key. Everywhere we've been. Blocked, available. Certain paths will be inaccessible to Cal. I missed it. Down, up to switch elevation. Okay. This really reminds me of the, the map from Control. Tony, right? Isn't it similar? It we gotta find another way. Oh my goodness. Sashimi, thank you very much for the doll donation. Thank you, homie. 
You can get the purple lightsaber in chapter five. Spoilers, bro. Spoilers. No spoilers. Except if it's for the purple lightsaber. I accept it. <laughs> Thank you for the tip. I appreciate it, man. Wait. I'm, a, I'm thinking I'm playing Titanfall already. So I can't go up the zip line, correct? Oh, hi. Lock on. Oh, I could have done a jumping attack. He's scanning something. There's lightsaber kits. Okay. There's only four chapters. Oh, so he's lying to me? God damn it. Is there a purple lightsaber or not? Bograt. Oh, that's not Bogdan. Ogdo Bogdo. <laughs> Do you guys want me to read out the lore or what? Because I'm totally down to read out the lore if you want some immersion. Do you want me to read out every single thing I scan? Let's, let me get a quick yes or no, because I'll do it. You know, I'll, I'll, we'll do some story times. Oh, there's a chest here. Yes or no? Should I do lore things? Hey, no. What's that be, one? New poncho material acquired. You can change your poncho in the pause menu. Oh, is that the one I got for... Do I get a poncho for pre-ordering the game? I think we just unlocked this one, but I think this is what I got for pre-ordering. Maybe. Story time, story time. All right, we'll do the next one. I'll wear this. We need better ponchos for sure. It looks like we're going to have a lot of options here. But this ain't cutting it. <laughs> I kind of like this for BD. Mantis, that's my ship. I'm going to stick with the blue. BD skin, yes. Not for the monsters, so you don't want me to read the monster stuff. I see some yeses and some noes. I guess we'll feel it out. We'll see how I feel with the next thing that we scan. Can I scan every single thing that I kill? Is that the way it works? Does this game work like... What is it? Is it... Hunt Showdown? The more you kill things, Hunt Showdown has a lore bug that tells you how to kill them more efficiently. Does this game do that? Because that would be sick. Like little tricks here and there. <laughs> you look like you just went to the hospital. <laughs> Alright, we know about resting. Why is it giving me this screen again? Scanning gives you XP. Okay, that's good to know. Twas the night before Titanfall, and all through the house, nothing was there. Not even a tone, but from the loudspeakers, there arose a clatter. I jumped into my Titan to see what was the matter. I've actually made a, a Christmas Titanfall video years back, and it was really awesome. <laughs> what are these echoes giving me? Are these are these the collectibles? These are the was used by someone eager to reach the vault. I got I got XP for that. Data bank updated. Force echo traveling to the vault. A tool used by a traveler who wanted to reach the mysterious vault. Okay, so that's worth picking up because they all give me XP. Wait, did I get a skill point there? I do. I do have a skill point. Let's unlock something. They need to have a purple poncho. I know it's like a meme when I say that, but I'm being serious. We need more purple things. Okay. I'm feeling some Path of Exile with this skill tree. Force attunement. Cal's maximum force is increased. Cal's maximum life is increased. We're probably going to need that if we're going to fight Ogdo again. Ogdo Bogdan... Big to bad. Uh, empowered slow. I'm assuming I can't unlock this. Okay, we gotta get the first one. So it's either this one or that one. I think I'm gonna go for health. Or this one. Dash strike. Cal dashes forward and attacks his target. Jump while dashing to flip over. What does that look like? Oh, we have some ranged options now. I think I'm gonna go for the health to be safe at first. What does resting do? It gives you back your healing, your healing stims. And it heals you up full, right? But it also respawns the enemies around you. Unlock the rodeo perk to steal a battery. That's a Titanfall joke, isn't it? I'm catching on. That looks really good, and I'll get it eventually. Hopefully, I could eventually get all the skills in the game. But I'm going to go for health and be safe. I'm going to be safe about it. <laughs> I hope I can rodeo Agdobogd in one day. Teach him, teach him a lesson. 
<laughs> what's up future bear <laughs> hello kitty island adventure hey if you guys enjoy these let's plays hello kitty's next i know it's just stone and grass and shit but it this game is beautiful not gonna lie okay i can't go upwards we gotta look everywhere for secrets that looks like death that's definitely death we're going down here Oh, there's a chest there. Can I jump there? We'll get that later. Bro. Is that Ogdo Bogdo again? I thought he was dead. <laughs> Do I have to fight this guy over and over again right now? Is that what's happening to me? Oh, God. All right. This is going to be a great time to practice, I guess. I don't want to fight all of them with Ogdo there. So can I, like... Oh god, he sees me. Can I pull aggro? Run for it. Never mind, he's killing everything around. <laughs> Fucking Ogdo, man. Respawn you. This is the Spitfire. I know how to beat him now. And we can heal. And we can heal. I can beat him now. Chill, chill. Yo, you ain't shit. You ain't shit now. You ain't shit now. Let's go. You're easy now. You're easy. We figured you out. We can scan him now, too. All right, we're reading this shit. This dude is gigantic. Agdo. Sever the tongue with a comp. Wait, I can cut off his tongue? That's a thing in this game? He still is yet to parry. I don't like parrying beasts. I like dodging beasts. I can cut off his tongue. We need to try that. How do I do that? I know he does that tongue attack, but not often, you know? And I feel like, can I parry the tongue attack? Because I need to try cutting that shit off. <laughs> Sever the tongue with a combination of the force and lightsaber attacks. Highly dangerous. Lightsaber resistant. Yeah, you're telling me. The Ogdo is a highly threatening alpha predator. Nah, he's not. Not after what we just did to him, chat. At the top of the... Bagano, Bagano food chain. This creature attacks with an adhesive tongue capable of reaching eight meters in length that latches onto its prey, then pulls them into its jaws. This form of strike is particularly effective against most foes. Yet not me though. Due to its thick hide, it's able to resist a straight on lightsaber attack and is extremely dangerous at close range, <laughs> often leaping at a target to close the distance. This guy is intense. <laughs> He's an apex predator. My God, you can't do it with the lightsaber. Have to use Ronin's sword. Yo, honestly, can we cut off his tongue? That's a thing. It's got to be a thing, right? I need to save that as a trophy. Just keep it as like a, a lucky charm on my belt. You can't crouch in this game, right? I don't think I can teabag him. Oh, God. All right, the cameras are a little wonky sometimes. All right, let's try parrying. Attack me doesn't want to attack me oh that worked okay that was a parry i think dodging is more fun to be honest <laughs> force slow when he gives you the tongue okay uh, there's something more satisfying about dodging and then attacking than i don't know Lurking Penguin, what's up, homie? Thank you for the 50 bits. Panic meter tongue. Keep your pants on, fellas. <laughs> An eight meter tongue. Keep your pants on. Thank you for the 50 bits, dude. I don't know what he said when he scanned that. I missed it. But it's red, so that probably means no in video games. That's absolutely wall runnable whenever that happens. This is screaming wall run to me. Respawn. Give it to me. When can I wall run? It better be at the end of this mission or whatever this is. It's getting hot in here. It's freezing outside, so we have the heat on, and now it's way too hot in here, so I might have to actually turn the air on. Okay, so this is a safe point, and if I rest, Ogdo Fuckton is going to respawn down there, so do I want to fight him over and over again? Yo, can I just, come like, over and over again, just kill him, wreck him, and then farm XP? Is that stupid? Do people farm XP in this game to get skill points early? 
Maybe we don't need to rest yet. We won't rest. We'll just we'll just save our progress. All right, I'm going to grab a bottle of water. I'm going to turn the air on, as weird as that sounds. I'll be back in a minute. Guys, thank you for being here. Thank you for all the support. I love you with all my heart. I appreciate you watching the stream. And hopefully we'll be grinding this game out for the whole weekend. I'll be right back. So when you don't move, your character starts stretching a bunch. That's good. That's pretty much what I just did. What's up, Greta? How are you? All right. So that saves the game, right? As long, even though I didn't rest, it saves my progress because I'm going to be pissed if I die. And it didn't actually save my progress there. Let me get a quick yes or no in the chat. Does that actually save my progress even though I didn't rest? I'm scared about it. Something's telling me I should rest. Yep. Okay. I trust Blue Ghost because he was literally playing this game like 20 minutes ago. Again, some real Tomb Raider vibes right now. All right. We want to climb there. Oh! The rolls have reversed now. There's a, there's a the chest over there. The human. Wolfie, thank you for the 100 bits, man. The roles have reversed now. It's the robot rodeoing the human. I'm going to rodeo Ogdo Bogdan later on. What's up, Humble? How are you? I can't go anywhere here. I can't jump high enough. I can't run to the walls. I feel like I'm not supposed to be here yet. I've seen a lack of B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B B Parafish inhabit large bodies of water, feeding primarily on small algae fragments and other plants. When algae supply grows scarce, many fish die off. Their decom decomposition process raises the acidity of the water, gradually wearing away at the ground below and forming sinkholes. All right, let's try that Y attack. I, I keep forgetting to lock on, and then I lock on, and then I lock off. All right, parry. Oh, oh, oh! There is dismemberment. That's sick. I'm loving this game right now, Beck. What's up, dude? I'm thoroughly enjoying myself <laughs> from the very start. Oh, we got some shadow issues right now, though. You guys see that? That was weird. From the very beginning of this game, I was all in. Come here. Oh, I can't. Oh, okay. So the Y attack. Wait a second. The Y attack uses my force. I can't spam the Y attack, basically. Or can I? I can do it now, but in battle, I couldn't do it, and instead I needed more force. Does that overhead attack use my force energy? That's weird. Do you think this game is worth it? So far, yes. I'm really enjoying myself, man. Okay, right here, there's like a weird shadow bug glitch going on. What the hell? Oh. I don't want to go through this room. Let's go back the other way. <laughs> is this thing going to bite me, dude? This really is some Disney shit with the dragons. We're about to train our own dragon. I feel like I'm going to get eaten up. <laughs> oh, God. This is not what I want. Climb on these things. 
He doesn't look like he wants a hug or a kiss. He doesn't look like he wants any of that. Looks like he wants breakfast. I mean, he seems pretty nice so far. Oh, what do you got, little guy? I'll check it out. What is that? Czar thrive in raw. Oh, this is for the the fauna. Really, we scan fauna too. I'm not reading this shit, chat. It's grass, all right? We got flowers. We found a new flower, chat. You want lore? Go to Lord is Bife for the fauna stuff. Oh, beep boop. Are we about to go to this dragon? Let me fight this dragon, bro. I'm getting some... Some scary vibes right now. Oh, dude, we're running. We running on these walls, boys. Master. Yes, the path is difficult. It may seem impossible, but with persistence and the force as your ally, you will overcome any obstacle. You will master any path. It's me. Now, little me. Do what you must to reach me. Oh, we're learning to wall run. Oh, never mind. Oh, okay, okay. A little confusing. Run and jump towards rig. But wait, what? Where? Oh, he wants me to run in this. Okay. Gotcha. Yo, we're Titanfall again, boys. We're Titanfall. Was I supposed to? Let's go, man. All right. Things are getting started. Thank you, Future Bear, for the 50 bits. I appreciate the BBBs. For you not reading the lore, you get 20 BBBs. Do you really want to hear the lore on the grass in the game? <laughs> we got wall running. Now, where do I wall run? Where did I come from? Was I supposed to go back that way? Let me just check. Can't help myself. That was a big ass hill, right? There's no way I can. Can I? Oh, we can chain. Dude, can we do wall kicks? Can we do perfect wall kicks like on the source engine? Nope. <laughs> we got to try and do the gauntlet now. Try and be game stages time. Definitely can't do wall kicks, boys. <laughs> oh, it's good to be back. It's good to be a Jedi. So you can't wall run on everything, correct? It's only... Walls like that, that like really stick out. Okay. I kind of wish we could wall run everywhere, but I understand why we can't. Oh, I was supposed to go back up there. God damn it. God damn it. Tell us more about the grass. Mm -mm. You guys are going to have to do extra research on your own. I'm happy we can do this now. And you kind of fall off the wall after a few seconds, just like Titanfall. Think you can show me that shortcut again? You might be able to wall run to that first chest now. First chest. I don't know what, where that chest was. I, I'm going to have to start writing these things. This is like a Metroid, right? Where you have to backtrack. In those games, dude, I usually take notes and I'm like, okay, there was something there that I couldn't achieve. I'll have to come back here later. I might have to take notes. Somebody take notes for me when we can't achieve something at the moment. Reach the vault. All right, this is us. I'm already confused with the map, dude. There's like different levels. How to train your alien dragon. Oh, yeah, in the first room. I honestly can't remember, boys. I'm sorry. Oh, how do I get that chest? Is that what you're talking about? So this way. This is what you're talking about? Oh. Oh. There we go. Okay. Metroid things. This area was used for meditation. By someone familiar with the Jedi Order. Meditation. A meditation area well hidden. Whoever was here knew the Jedi Order. So we can run along that. Where else? Can we go anywhere else? Welcome back, pilot. No, we can't run along that. Never mind. I'm confused. I'm trying to look around, see if I missed anything. Oh, wait if we climb back up on these trees. 
Peter, thanks for following the stream, man. All right, this, there's a chest or something up there. Look how little, look how, I need to jump higher. <laughs> when do I get a double jump, bro? I need to, I need to jump higher. All right, we can wall run in this. We're going to rest now. Actually, I don't need to rest. We're good. We're good on resting. That's red. This is where we start taking notes. We're going to have to come back here later. But we got whatever this is. Whoever owned this bag brought it from Coruscant. They were frustrated with the Jedi Council. Yo, that gives you a nice chunk of XP. Frustration. A bag left by someone who came here from Coruscant. They were strangely frustrated with the Jedi Council for some reason. How do you just forget your bag? I'm trying to guess what we would need for that. Like a double jump? How would you even get up there? We need a grapple hook. <laughs> All I see are grapple routes right here. I'm, I'm thinking, you know, the big tower in Angel City, star roof. Right now, this looks like the top of the of the star roof, and I'm right below it on the street, and I'm, I'm trying to <laughs> grapple, swing across the map. That's what I see right now when I look at things in video games. We're definitely going to have to come back here. I can't wall run on that. All right, we're, we're leaving here then. Use the force. Yeah, but I can't, I can't freeze that. There's nothing... Freezing it isn't going to do anything. I don't have, I can't pull. I can't, I don't have force pull. All I can do is, is like slow things down. I can just slow time right now. I can't pull anything. Ride the alien dragon to get up there. You guys are smart. I would like another skill point. So I might farm Ogdo Bogdan fuckhead. Okay. You can clearly run on this wall. We're gonna have to knock that. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I wasn't. That's not what I meant. <laughs> At least they spawn you right back here. <laughs> oh, there's a chest here. Come back here. So what was in there? New lightsaber switch acquired, Valor and Wisdom 2. Do we have Valor and Wisdom 1 already? You're getting brave with Ogdo. I figured Ogdo out, man. He was a scumbag in the beginning. <laughs> but I think I figured him out. It's the elevator. Shortcut unlocked. So if there's shortcuts, we've already unlocked like three shortcuts. We clearly have to come back here and unlock new things. And the game's just making it easier for us. That's nice. Have we been here? Have we killed those things before? We have not fought these things before. And he's rolling towards me. Okay, I'm a little scared. A little, just a little scared. I'm confused. Can I, can I parry this thing? Yes. Yes! That's pretty sick. I'll check it out. Scan it, girl. Splocks. That's a good name. Attack in large groups and able to contort. What does contort mean? I don't know what that means. Evasive strikes, but easily killed. Splocks are large, <laughs> agile insects, usually found in groups and known to lo launch coordinated attacks to overwhelm their prey. They're om omnivorous and use small, thin, sprite-like wings to hover over terrain. They're able to contort their shape. Is that like transform? To quickly stagger their enemies, providing time for others the pack to strike. How much longer are you streaming? Usually three or four hours, but we'll see. I'm in, I'm really enjoying this game. Yo, we're gonna have to fight this thing. All right, I can't jump that. Wait, there's another one. How do you lock on again? Okay, I keep forgetting how to do that. We got a skill point. Where was my... Where was the resting point? I kind of want to go back. I 
Oh god. Can you not? There's a chest there. How do I get over there? That's not possible. I hate seeing things and knowing I can't get there yet. I keep spamming buttons. What the hell? Oh, that thing. All right, we got a zip line here. This is the stupid scomp link. <laughs> All right. Whenever we get the scomp link, Grizzly, we have to come back here. Somebody write that down. New lightsaber, Valen Wisdom 2. Lightsaber sleeve acquired. And whenever we get the stupid scomp link, we'll get something from this chest. Need to work on that B hop? I wish. All right, so green is good, right? We want to go to green and we want to go to yellow. Unexplored is yellow. Green is available. So green and yellow is where we're headed most of the time. I'm like a three-year-old. Oh, now I can run in this stupid thing. This is why I was early in the beginning. Okay. Oh, we're headed towards that vault. Racy there. Oh, it's on. Who runs like that? <laughs> he, he runs like he's got a poop. We're not finished yet. Okay, okay. He probably would have won. Probably. Save. And we have the skill point. All right. Maximum force. Dash strike. Superior blocking. Cal's defenses are improved, allowing him to take less block stamina damage from incoming attacks. So should I take the safe route and go for superior blocking or go on the offensive and get the strike or efficiency and get more force? I kind of want to have more force. I like using the force. Definitely look like a Mexican Jedi in that poncho. <laughs> All right, that's the look I'm going for. <laughs> I might go for efficiency here. That's how I usually like to do skill trees in these games. I start off with efficiency, health, mana, whatever you want to call it. And then later on, once I've learned the attacks and the combat, then I start getting the extra, you know, the new attacks. I think I'm going to go for, for force. And then after force, I think I'll go for this blocking thing. Start off safe. BD needs his own poncho. I agree, man. <laughs> How much extra force did that give us? Can we like freeze one more thing in a comp in battle now? That's what I'm assuming. We'll get defense next. Well, let's let's drink some water. That's a smart way to do it. I don't know. I always take the safe route in these games. Plus, I don't really know the combat yet, and I feel like having extra health and force is going to be uh, beneficial rather than being, you know, full on attack. All right, let me see. Anything back here? I'll check it out. Nice job. Remnants of a lost civilization offerings. These relic contains materials that aren't native to Bagano. Their fragile structure indicates that they were purely decorative, potentially objects of a religious significance. It's possible. They were carried here as a form of pilgrimage. Let's destroy them. <laughs> it didn't let us. It's fine. What you got, little buddy? Inscriptions. The vault is built out of a carnite, a hard stone rich in minerals. Its inner walls are decorated with a metallic plating and inscriptions. The glyphs don't return results in any galactic data bank, suggesting the language has been lost to time, ladies and gentlemen. He's called BD because the BD-eyed piece of shit kept the fact he can heal you to himself <laughs> after Ogdo, after Ogdo fucked in. Yes. He made me take that fight without healing. BD7274. Seven, 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 <laughs> 
This game's awesome, by the way. This is where we unlock phase shift, I'm thinking. Would you guys go in this black hole? This structure has been here for centuries. It appears the only way to open the vault is by using the force. Well, that's the only way we know how to do things, boys. Let's do it. Death Heart, thank you for the 100 bomb. I appreciate the itty bitty witty. to respawn for another great game. I agree. Death will buy a nick. Thank you, man. Can I get some nick bits in the chat? Thank you for the 100 bits, man. This is gigantic. All right, we start off making a circle. Anything to scan? Nothing. No scannables. Do you guys have OCD seeing my health not full? Because when I watch people play and their health isn't full, I'm like, bro, please heal. Please heal. What's happening here? Oh. Reached the vault. You all right, BD? Well done, whoever you are. You have passed the test I left behind. Eno Cordova. And gained access to the vault and this recording, one of many encrypted logs stored in the droid. I am Master Eno Cordova. I may not know your name, but I know your purpose. The fate of the Jedi Order lies in your hands. That's a lot of pressure. This place, this vault, is a sacred temple built by a vanished civilization known as the Zephyr. Meditating here, I was granted a premonition through the Force, a vision of doom. I have placed inside this vault a Jedi holocron containing a list of the names and locations of young Force sensitives throughout the galaxy. So do we have to find and the other kids? We find the inner chamber of the vault, but also another test. I can only trust this holocron to someone who has followed my path and understands. Seek out the hidden tombs of the three sages and learn to perceive the mysteries of the Force as the Zepho once did. In this droid, you will find everything you need to succeed on this journey. Little BD. Go to the Zepho homeworld. There, you will find peace in the eye of the storm. Good luck, Jedi. And may the Force be with you. And also with you. So we gotta find the other uh, younglings then, right? Or Force sensitive. He's like, really? You're gonna put this shit on me now? Yes, you were the someone I was supposed to meet. You know, I've been alone for while now without any purpose just hiding there's no way to live not for a jedi oh, or droid I'm pulling on those heartstrings right now maybe seer was right grizzy <laughs> maybe we're done hiding <laughs> hey you want to meet some uh friends of mine oh we're best friends so enor enor eno cordorva cordorva i already forgot his name that's the the lightsaber stuff i was finding those that was his lightsaber things right that's what i was finding along the way here multiple entries secrets of the vault my friend my name is jedi master eno cordova the Bagano Vaults, constructed by the Zepho millennia ago, granted me a vision of the Jedi's doom. To, to preserve its, to preserve the order, I've hidden a holocron detailing the names and locations of all known young Force-sensitive deep within the vault. To access the holocron, you must seek out the tombs of three great Zepho sages. BD-1 will aid you on your journey. He will be your guide. So was BD-1 um, Eno's droid? How does that work? That was probably his droid, right? Yeah, these are dope cutscenes. Why is he sitting in the water when there's a platform there? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't have the answers. <laughs> All right, you know, we're going to do your bidding. Cal right now is like, dude, I just escaped some crazy shit. And now you want me to restore the Jedi Order? 